What you're seeing is the result of months of work building a deep reinforcement learning platform for Team Fortress 2. Using this platform, I've trained a bot that not only has perfect air shot accuracy, but does so nearly blind. It has no concept of TF2, gravity, or even time. It only knows how to hit sick air shots. And that's just scratching the very surface of what's possible. But before we talk more about that, let's first get an appreciation for how we got here. Using SourceMod, a mod system for Source, I'm running a dedicated server with a bunch of custom shit. First, a plugin to control TF2, written in the open source source mod language called SourcePawn, which I can only describe as kind of like C++ if its balls were chopped off. Ow, my balls! It's got a ton of odd little quirks that I'll spare you the details of, but it did have a lot of good documentation. Most of the work involved reading through forum posts from over a decade ago about how to do shit. I did find a few gems though. Odd SourcePawn feature? In C++, I can do this. Why can't I do it in SourcePawn? Because Pawn isn't C++? Weird errors? This is wrong. You forgot this. You forgot that. This is wrong. This is very wrong. Also, your code is ugly. I know what SourcePawn is, and I say it has some design flaws. Scripting languages are for unsmart people who can't code. Oh, it seems okay to me. And illogical to me. Your argument is invalid. Mm -hmm. Then we have an existing C++ extension for controlling the bots, which I modified to add custom aim and shoot functions. And lastly, some no block plugins that allow the rockets to get to the target without disrupting them. Then all of that networks to the reinforcement learning code written in Python, the scripting language. I guess the majority of programmers are unsmart people. And thank God for that. I thought I was the only one. Anyway, there's an environment to control TF2, a main loop with all the settings, and this RL framework that handles the actual learning parts. Not only is this project thousands of lines of code across three very different languages and all the troubleshooting that comes with that, but also all of the interfaces between them that can and will break in the most ridiculous ways. I experienced everything from the server deleting itself and bricking the folder process so I couldn't reinstall it multiple times to this error that I'm still absolutely baffled by. So after a short two months in the code gulag, we have an arena, a target bot with random position and velocity, and a clump of AI controlled bots in the middle. But how does it actually learn? Well, this part just means the bot learns from trial and error. And deep just means it's using a neural network, basically a dumb brain, to apply its experience to new situations. The core concept of RL is pretty simple. The agent chooses an action, the environment rewards that action, and then that experience is used to train the agent to do better and better over time using the power of computer magic. The rewards increase the closer each rocket can get to the target, which importantly allows it to learn from misses instead of just getting a zero no matter how close. Then just slap an RL algorithm like DDPG in there, and we're good to go. It immediately got stuck. Just shooting the same spot over and over and refusing to try anything else. Even after a week's worth of research and trying different things, there was still barely any improvement. So I let it run overnight. Have not seen the progress. Hopefully it's still running. It's just shooting in the same area each time, which is the same problem as before. It was starting to feel hopeless. As a last resort, I tried reading through the white paper to see if there was anything I had missed. There's no way this dude is named Timothy P. Lillicrap. What kind of name is that? It sounds made up. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> look at the look at the emails. Regular ass email username, except for my guy Timothy. <laughs> I get it, dude. If my name was Lilla Crap, I would change it too, but, but Count Zero? Like, who are you, man? A fucking Sesame Street character? At least I read enough to see that I should try normalizing the observations. And sure enough, it made an immediate difference. All right, I let it run all night. It's kind of aiming right at the guy. Holy shit. 
Yes. There was still a long ways to go, but the machine was finally learning. Here we go again. Oh my god, look at that test reward. Wait, oh I got a perfect reward. After a few days of improvement, the robot could hit nearly every shot with just a few hours of training. Here's what that looks like. What's even cooler, and a little bit scary, is that I can give the pre-trained bot a different weapon, and it'll learn how to use it in a fraction of the time. Now that is what I want to see! To tell you the truth, these air shots are the simplest proof of concept I could think of compared to what the platform is really capable of. But for now, if you want to see more, check out the Patreon. There's cool stuff there and it's by far the best way to support these videos. But before we go, there's one last weapon to show off. The Huntsman. Its arrow is the only projectile that can crit on headshot, so what better as a final test of accuracy? The bots train normally at first, but then do a second round where only headshots get rewarded. For some reason, the critical hit markers were not showing up, so to make it clear for you guys, I gave the target bot just enough health to survive if even a single one of the arrows doesn't headshot. Thanks for watching.